Hello people, welcome back here to the channels Tapaul Azul and Super Academico with one more video about, well, today you see the, the theme, uh, the subject of the day and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channels to the channels and ring the bell for not notifications take a look at the description below to see what else we can offer you so today I'm going to talk about some comparisons between uh, two literatures uh, uh, one example of Brazilian literature and one example of uh, English literature uh, mostly uh, uh, American literature uh, I'll talk about the, the use of the mystical subjects and the, the mystical things in the work of Jorge Amado that's a writer author here in Brazil and Jorge Amado now it's a, a writer a Brazilian writer from my state Bahia is, is very famous uh, in all over the world He's very known for his works about Brazilian subjects and Bayan subjects <coughs> and he used a lot in his work uh, mystical and religious subjects and uh, mostly uh, uh, in contact and uh, mostly referring to the, the African uh, African religions uh, symbols of African religion mostly uh, what I would call in English uh, uh, like uh, voodoo or uh, in Cuba, Cuba is called Santeria here in Brazil is called Candomblé and the author I will compare uh, him with is uh, Stephen King Stephen King a uh, famous author all over the world too mm -hmm. for his work mainly with horror uh, horror uh, books, horror stories. Most, uh, many of these his stories became movies. Also, uh, here in Brazil, m m many stories from Giorgio Madu's works became movies or uh, uh, we call here telenovela, uh, with soap operas. Uh, it's a different way. So um, the first thing is uh, in both authors the the mystical né, the the supernatural themes are very present né? in Jorge Amado he, we have the entities from from Candomblé uh, present in his work in many ways né? for example uh, you have in the in the book uh, Jubiaba for example you have a central character that is very much driven by the entities uh, also in, uh, one of his most famous work uh, uh, mi miss miss uh, flo flo and he her two husbands uh, it's a story of a woman that uh, gets widower uh, her first husband dies and he marries again but using these entities and this relation with the supernatural the mystical from from candomblé from african religions she uh, evokes uh, she evokes her first husband and they coexist in a uh, ironical way uh, it's a uh, uh, George Amado uses more the ir irony to critics the society, the hypocrisy of society differently, uh, different from uh, Stephen King, which used the horror, uh, the horror, the ter terror, the, the suspense to conduct his critics, his addressing to the society you know, about society and same way as uh, Stephen King use uh, this mystical supernatural things uh, mainly <laughs> mainly as far as I can tell as a reader and a watcher of his stories 
uses much uh, uh, native Native American uh, mythology, supernatural from this Native American uh, uh, legends, yeah. and it's, it's funny. That's nice that he used that as a a quick start, yeah, as a a jump into the story with the supernatural being something like the the force that drivens the characters into a problemat problematic situation eh? is more like a not something um, horrifying in itself but much more the use of this the supernatural entities or powers and eh? mystic powers to conduct the, the choices of the characters, m m much similar to George Amado's. And in George Amado's work, the 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 African the African religion uh, uh, entities, uh, the Candomblé entities, they they don't uh, they don't force the, the choices of the characters, but they influence, and this influence that that can be positive or negative and mm -hmm. conducts the character to make choices and these choices are that are the responsible for the, the the story the happenings of the story and so like uh, in the example that I gave the the wife uh, Flo she chooses to have uh, his hair her former husband close to her for sexual reasons she wants the, the husband that it was an unfaithful husband but it was a sexual active husband creative uh, husband along her and uh, close to her so she can be she can be pleasured and she can be satisfied with her needs and the, the new husband, the alive one, uh, the live one, uh, he's a, a good man, a faithful man, but he's not very good uh, in the, he, his sexual activity. So she chooses that by using the, the, the knowledge of the mystic arts, the, the candomblé arts, the, the supernatural, but she regrets in some points and tries to get rid of the ghosts and of course in the end she decides to keep both husbands that the great the great problem the great uh, critic that George Amado does with the with the story about the monogamy and the, the state of a monogamy and family with uh, as an institution that uh, hypocritically don't let the the, the woman mostly the women have their uh, the women have their ways to keeping having pleasure and so on and in Stephen King's then the, the the choices they are made for the by the, the the characters lead them to horrifying things and like uh, in Carrie for example Carrie discovers that he she has supernatural powers well, in this case, that's not connected with uh, Native Native American mystic religion, but uh, it's a good example. She discovers that she has uh, supernatural powers, and the choices that she makes to become popular at school, eh, to be accepted by the other girls, the other people in the school, despite of the religion background at home with her mother made her a uh, destructive being made her destroy and kill a lot of people so uh, in the same way it's a critic to the hypocrisy a, cri a critic to the uh, uh, the superficial relations of uh, uh, middle class America so this is kind of a parallel uh, in, in Pet Cemetery yeah, you have the choice of not letting go with the, the loss of a uh, dear one and the use of the 
supernatural powers from the Native American uh, beliefs uh, of the cemetery that resurrects the the being, and so the the father and husband insists in resurrecting his loved ones, uh, leading then the family to destruction. So it's like the, it's a critic to materialism. It's a critic to uh, the, the, the 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 need of uh, of the, the, the people and the need of the people to to be always in connection with something or someone. And I, I think it's two good examples of comparison. I think maybe in thin theme this is a good example to a use of supernatural mystical powers in a bad way which end up in destruction of a family too uh, if you don't know this story is a story of a man a fat man that accidentally accidentally runs over and kills uh, the daughter of a gypsy and the gypsy puts a curse on him so he can get thin and thin and thinner and thinner and thinner until he disappears or something like that so he reverts the curse but in a vengeful way and but he discovers discovers that his wife was possibly betraying him and eh, cheating on him with his friend and it ends up badly now so the big difference uh, the, the, the big the biggest uh, similarity between the two authors is the use of supernatural, of beliefs from different uh, backgrounds and uh, native, Native American and African gypsies, and but with the means to make some kind of a critic, some kind of a speech uh, about something. And the biggest biggest difference is about um, the the way they use. Uh, Jorge Amado uses with irony, sometimes comedy, and in stories that are more uh, political driven, as a state about something like uh, the hypocrisy of family, the hypocrisy of monogamy, the hypocrisy wherever. And Stephen King uses to. Uh, to to deliver uh, to the to the reader to the viewer uh, the the horror the terror uh, the violence the gore sometimes or the psychological thriller or wherever but with the means also to make a state a uh, statement about something about something that's probably wrong in society so this is the video for today I hope you have enjoyed uh, I try to bring you things, new problems to do to develop here in the channels in English. Make your comments and make questions. You can ask anything about Brazilian literature for, for example. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you like. And also take a look at the description for the links below. So we see you next time. Bye bye.